This is stunning. Not something that you commonly see in masks. Really, really, really like the packaging. Favorite sun cream ever. So next in my little box of goodies is another sunscreen and a sunscreen that I cannot believe that I've never tried. I mean, I have tried it like in Olive Young, I've tried kind of like just a tester on my hand, but I've never bought it because I've always been so in love with the Purito sunscreen. So the reason that I really, really wanted to try this out is that it's supposed to be amazing for sensitive skin and also extremely hydrating. So I thought I might as well give it a go. Like, let's just, try something new, be a little bit different. Yeah, I don't get out much. Switching sunscreens is about as wild as it gets. So opening up the package, it's, I've seen this, this the packaging before, it's, it's really lovely. And what I love is that it's kind of small. Now, some people might not like that. You know, you, you wanna have something that you don't have to restock regularly. But I always love a small sunscreen because it means that I can just stick it in my backpack. Backpack? Who am I? I don't wear backpacks. I definitely do. They're the most convenient way of transporting things and I will die on this hill. Stick it in my bag and I can reapply throughout the day because that's super important that you reapply at least twice a day. It's kind of got like a matte finish, which is really lovely. And I personally really love the design. Like it's kind of minimalist and beautiful. So it's, it's a yes for me so far. So I'm just gonna test it out here. It's a little bit more watery than the Purito. It's, it's a lot more watery than Purito, but that, that's not a bad thing. It just smells a little bit sunscreeny, but not, not overpoweringly so. It blends in so nicely. Wow, that's beautiful. It's very moisturizing as well. I can feel it's, it's, it's lovely. And it doesn't leave a white cast. I'll have to like go outside and definitely test it. But that's a really beautiful finish. So that's kind of interesting, kind of watery. I wasn't expecting that, but very, very hydrating. And so far, no white cast. So I will continue to test this out and let you guys know what I think. Can I have another little drink before we go on to the next one? So next up on this fine and beautiful morning is a product that I have used again quite a few times and i keep coming back to this moisturizer it's the dr g red blemish clear soothing cream as i say i've used it before and i do just keep coming back to it and i will tell you why so if you guys don't know dr g is a skincare group so it's a group of, of clinicians it's a very science-based group and they come up with products that are really supposed to heal your skin the best that it can and this is a really great example of what their entire line does so this particular ingredient contains centella which i've spoken about before we all know is fantastic for soothing redness and irritation on the skin and at the moment because my skin is so mad at me because the pollen is dreadful at the moment. I really, really, really rely on products like this to help my skin just chill out a little bit. Like it gets so angry. The packaging is lovely, nothing special, but, but nice. It's got kind of a frosted glass with a plastic top. And it's also got braille down the side, which I think is a really important, interesting, design element because so many brands don't really pay attention to the blind population the blind community and their money so i really really like that this includes braille in the packaging and i want to highlight that and say to companies that it is important that you include all types of people when you're selling because all types of people buy products so going into the product it's kind of a gel formula um and it dries, the thing that I love about it is that it dries beautifully and it's very, very light on my skin. And so, especially during the summer, which is when I tend to wear this moisturizer, it's just, it just feels beautiful and refreshing on my skin. It's also non-oily, which is very important during the summer, again, because you don't want your makeup to kind of slide off your face. You're already dealing with all of the heat. You don't want an oily product that's just gonna make your skin like, freak out or your makeup fall off and it's all gonna be a disaster. So this dries matte, it's slightly tacky maybe, but it definitely dries matte. It's non-greasy, it's non-oily, and 
it makes my skin so much happier once I've worn it. It gets rid of the redness and actually what I do with this product is I tend to keep it in the fridge actually because what that does is it's got ingredients that are going to soothe my skin but also the coolness will help bring down any puffiness that I have in the morning. This moisturizer also comes with a spatula and again I would highly highly recommend it especially if you have irritated skin. So this next product is a product that I've wanted to try for a long time and that is because I use its kind of sister moisturizer and so I really wanted to go in with the toner and See if I liked it. So this is of course the Pyongyang Yul Essence Toner. So I love this brand's nutrition cream. I think it is a fantastic moisturizer and I really, really, really love using it. So I'm excited to see if this toner works as well for me. Um, the packaging, as all Pyongyang Yul products are in, the, the packaging is beautiful. I love this color. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I love a dark blue. It is my all-time favorite and I can't open this which makes me sad. So let's get into the science of this. This is an essence toner so it's combining those two products so it's supposed to balance your pH which is what a toner is supposed to do but also add nutrients into your skin and hydrate your skin which is what an essence does and really prep your skin for the rest of the products that you're gonna put on. So off the bat, I would say this is a good product for somebody that wants to minimalize their skin routine and stop using so many products and just use products that kind of do more than one job. I don't know if it's effective yet, but in theory, that's what this is gonna do for you. Now, very much like its packaging, the ingredients list is very, very minimal. Indeed, it only contains Seven. And 91% of those ingredients is an ingredient that I really struggle to say, so bear with me, and I'm gonna say it wrong, so don't come at me in the comments, but milk vect root essence. It sounds a bit German, I don't think it's German, but anyway. Also, I speak some Chinese, so I should be able to, like, vect? What would that vect? Definitely not German, it's definitely Chinese, but it sounds German. All we need to know is that it's great at reducing inflammation and it's got loads and loads of fantastic antioxidants packed into that ingredient, which makes this toner fantastic if you've got damaged skin, eczema, like I have, or your skin's just being a little bit dull and it needs kind of like jam packed full of nutrients and vitamins. This is the toner that's gonna do it for you in theory. I have been using this a little bit and probably by the time this video comes out I will have posted my review on Instagram so if you haven't seen that already go and check out my Instagram and read the review. I will post the link in the little box below so you can go check that out. So giving it a quick try it's very liquidy it's not kind of jelly like or gel like it is a liquid there's no fragrance which is lovely and again, I can kind of feel that it's very, very hydrating. It dries very nicely, but I think that this is definitely a product that I'll have to keep using over time in order to see the benefits. So I will continue to do that. Now at the bottom of this little package that I've got is a product that I've used a lot and I will continue to restock because it's great. And that is COSRX's BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. And what this is really great for, as the name might suggest, is that it's really great for removing blackheads. It's a fantastic leave-on exfoliator. The packaging is very similar to most COSRX products, not the most luxurious, but the price point really reflects this. You're paying for the product, not the packaging. And that's why they can sell these products at such a low price. So when you open this up, the consistency is, apologies for that very graphic close-up not as kind of sticky or tacky as you would expect it to be. It's nothing like the snail mucin power essence. It's very different. This is much, much, much more liquidy. And what it does is it really powers through your skin, unclogging those pores and leaving your skin blemish free in the long term. It dries very tacky, which is kind of interesting. And it has absolutely no fragrance. Now I will just say one thing, is that a lot of people expect this product to be kind of a wonder product. They put it on once and they want all of their blemishes to go. Like so many other products, that's not how this is gonna work. This works with continued use. Now what I do is I pop some onto a cotton pad and then sweep it over the areas that need treated. I don't sweep it all over my face because not all of my face is experiencing blemishes or commonly experiences blemishes. And so what this does is I really use it as a targeted treatment. And for me, 
it works brilliantly. I think this is a really good lesson in skincare in general. Like, you know those TikTokers who like pour products onto their face using the dripper? Like, no tea, no shade. It looks very eye-catching, I'll give you that. But you're gonna get the most out of your skincare products and also your makeup if you target it to certain areas that really need it. Pouring something all over your face is not getting the most out of anything. I promise you. So the product right at the bottom of this little box is one of my all-time favorite products ever. Now I spoke about this on my Instagram pretty recently and I got so much feedback from you guys who have tried it and loved it too. And so if you're watching this and you haven't tried this product, give it a go. It is the Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Sleeping Mask. I love sleeping masks full stop. Like I really, really, really do. I love that they can kind of treat my skin overnight. I love waking up to nourished, beautiful, healthy skin. And what I love is that this one is the lightest one that I've ever tried. This one is made up of 65% rice extract, which we know is fantastic for brightening the skin, but also hydrating the skin, which is very important to me because due to my past acne, I've been left with a lot of hyperpigmentation and this helps me tenfold. This also contains niacinamide, which is one of my all time superstar ingredients. I love it, which is again for brightening the skin and also funnily enough, sunflower seed oil, which is a great oculative uh, ingredient that kind of locks everything in place and makes sure that my products can do the best underneath this mask. But as I say, the thing that I love the most is that it's so, so light. I cannot sleep with something really heavy on my skin and this just feels like I'm not wearing anything. The packaging is very light, like the product. Um, it is just, it's just plastic. It's again, it's a Cosrx product. So you're not getting super luxurious packaging, but you are getting low cost, high quality ingredients. So when you put this mask on, you only need to use the tiniest little bit and it comes out white like that. And then you just push it onto your skin and leave it there. And it is just the most beautiful mask. It's completely fragrance free, which is very important because I don't know about you guys, but I cannot sleep if I've got loads of kind of fragrant ingredients on my face. I just, it really disturbs my sleep. And so this is just, it's light, it's beautiful, it works well and, oh, I could just talk about this all day. I really, really, really love this sleeping mask. And that, friends, is the end of my little Yes Style haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've just got myself another hot water because you can never be underhydrated. Underhydrated? Dehydrated, Rose. Use your words. Uh, this has been kind of nice. It's been like a chill morning sharing with you guys what I got in the post. I hope you've enjoyed it and you've seen maybe a couple of products that you wanna buy. And I will certainly keep you guys updated with those new products as to what I think about them either on this channel or I'll do a full review over on my Instagram. So if you don't have me on Instagram, go and check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support more than I can say. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye.